So now we want to create the code for our update button, which will allow us to update both single records and multiple records doing mass updates. So we're going to go back to our script editor down here. I'm going to add a new function called update. I'm going to drop in the code that I've already created. So a lot of this should be familiar. We have a variable called ss for spreadsheet equal to the spreadsheet application and get the active spreadsheet we're in now. We have a variable for our record sheet that holds our employee records. We have a variable for our form sheet where our form is located. We have a variable called records, which is our two dimensional array of employee records. That is equal to our sheet records variable get the data range get values which that gets everything that has a value on our employees record sheet we have a search field variable that is equal to our form sheet get range a2 get value which holds the value of whatever is selected for the field to search on to search by we have a variable called search index, which is equal to our two dimensional records array. And we want to look at the very first row in that records array and get the index of where our search field variable is located in that row of headers so that we have the number position of where the column is that we want to search on. We have these two new variables here because we're doing updates. So we have the old value that is equal to our form sheet, get cell A8, get the value, and then the new value also on our form sheet, get range A11, get the value. So that's these values here, whatever gets input into those cells. Then we have a for loop, and a for loop repeats a series of the same step over and over again based on a beginning and ending point you specify. So in the set of parentheses here, the first argument we define is our beginning point, which we have a counter variable called i. We set that equal to zero because counts in app script begin at a value of zero rather than one then we define how long we want this for loop to run for well we want it to run so long as our counter variable is less than the length of our records two-dimensional array and the length is the length in rows so we want it to run for while it's less than the length of the total count of rows. So finally, we have what we want our counter variable to increment in. This here tells it to increment in values of one. Inside the curly brackets is what we want to do while this loop is running. So we have an if condition. We have in the set of parentheses here a test. We want to test to see if our records two-dimensional array of employee records and we have the first set of brackets here our counter variable which represents the rows so we have our counter in there so it's going to loop through every single row in our two-dimensional array for the column index we want what is stored in our search index variable which that finds the position of whatever search field we selected in our drop down menu on the form sheet. We want to test if anything in that column is equal to our old value variable. If it is, then what we want to do is on our record sheet, get the range and we have our beginning row 
which will be set to our counter variable plus one because the count begins at zero but we don't have rows that begin at zero on our spreadsheet same for our beginning column point we have our search index column and that's going to be dependent on whatever we selected here in our drop down menu but the count on that column also or position of that column is also starting at a point of zero so we need to add one there as well and then this third argument is how many rows we want to go down well we're doing this one row at a time during our for loop so we just want one and how many columns do we want well we just want one because we're only updating one column at a time here so then we want to set the value of that intersection we're at to our new value variable and this will repeat until we have gone through each row in our records array after that what we want to do is call our clear function and really we kind of need to update our clear function because we really want to clear out the values in these two cells here which are A8 and A11 so I am gonna copy this line of code here and just update our cell references So we'll hit save here. We'll go add a new button. Call this update. Assign our update script to that so I'll do exactly the same thing I did at the very beginning we'll update branch 3 to branch number 5 so there is our previous value there is our update value now you need to remember to make sure that this is set to the field that you're updating otherwise this will not work so make sure you know this is location fields and that this is set to location so everywhere here where there is branch 3 we should see branch 5 once we run this and there it is so now we want to make a button that holds the code to add new records to our existing data set of employee records and our input range is going to be this area here so we're going to go back to our editor going to add a new function called add drop in the code I've already created here so we have a variable called SS spreadsheet which gets our active spreadsheet we have a sheet records variable and then a sheet form variable and then we have two last row variables one the first one is for our record sheet and this is the traditional way of getting the last row where we're not concerned about getting a certain column so this will get 
the last row containing values by itself and what we want to do is add one to that because we want to get the next available blank row below that. We then have the last row variable like we did in a previous example where we want to get the last row on a particular column in that case we want the last row for just column C because we don't want to pull back this row number here so this is going to be on our form sheet we want to get range cell C2 and then get the next data cell and then spreadsheet app direction down and then get the last row because that will get the last row only in column C. We have a variable called add values which that is going to be equal to our form sheet and then we want to get the range beginning in row 2 column 3 because that's here beginning in cell C2 and then for the number of rows we want to go down that's an unknown it's going to be equal to our last row variable that we just talked about and then the number of columns we want we can do a hard number there is five we have five columns in our data we want to get those values and store them in this variable so then we have our record sheet and we want to get the range our records last row variable as our beginning row point we want to begin in column a so that's row one the length of the records we want to add is unknown so that needs to be dynamic so we have our add values variable and then we want the length of that in rows to get how many rows we want to go down and then the number of columns again is going to be a hard number five we want to set the values equal to our add values variable so that is everything we need. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back over here and insert a new button. Call this add. name of our script is called add so what I'm gonna do is just cheat I'm gonna just grab the two bottom records here copy them and what we should see is when we run the add script we're just gonna duplicate these records down here at the bottom in 25 rows 25 and 26 so I'm gonna paste that in here click add and you can see it gets duplicated down here So we are down to our last button, the delete button. So we want to be able to delete one record or multiple records based on our field selected here and whatever value we input for that particular field in this cell here. So we're going to go back to our editor. I'm going to create a new function called delete. the code here and I think this needs a couple of closing curly brackets it does so we have our spreadsheet variable to get the active spreadsheet we're in now we have our record sheet variable we have our form sheet variable we have our records array variable which gets the entire data set of employee records on our record sheet holds that in a two-dimensional array variable we have our search field variable which is equal to the drop-down list selection selected in cell a2 of our form sheet we then have our search index which looks at our two-dimensional array at the very first row of that array which is our row of headers and finds the index of our search field which is our drop-down selection variable and 
gives us the position of the column where that is found in our array so that we have the correct search column. We then have this new value called D value for delete value and that is equal to our search form range A14 which is whatever is stored in this cell here and then we have our for loop we have beginning point of our counter variable at zero because the count starts at zero in apps script for arrays we want this to run so long as our counter variable is less than the length of our records array which is the length of the rows we want it to increment in counts of one the action we want to perform is an if condition so we have if our records array counter variable for the row reference because we want to loop through every single row so we'll start at zero and go through every single row one by one and then the column we want to look at is based on our search index variable which is the column position of our search field that we specified to search on via our dropbox list drop down list i should say and we want to test to see if that anything in that column for that row that we're on is equal to our delete value variable if it is on our sheet records the employees record sheet we want to delete that particular row but that should be the same as our counter variable for whatever row we're currently on but we need to add one to that because that count begins at zero and we don't have a row number that begins at zero it begins at one so that's why we add one to that to get it to the correct row so that should be everything we need now so I'm gonna hit save we will pick a record to delete on so maybe I'll just select this range of cells here highlighted and maybe this middle one for 119 we'll just delete based on the employee ID maybe this person left the company so we'll change this to employee ID that was 119 so we'll click oh I need to add the delete button so we're gonna go to insert drawing and Add a box here, delete. We'll assign this delete script to it. So we should see this orange highlighted row get deleted. and it is gone well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe